as far as you've been able to tell, how has this Black Friday slash Cyber Monday been different from last year? Thank you, Emily. Excited to be here. Appreciate the opportunity to talk to you and your viewers on Cyber Monday. We, we had a record-breaking weekend. Um, in terms of Zoo Lily, I think I first need to give a little bit of context. Zoo Lily is a, ha, believes in a third way to shop. What we do is make sure that we have great product, scour our buyers look all over the world for product to offer to customers at unbelievable prices and offer to them in this fun and addictive website experience. So those deals, we literally have a Cyber Monday every day of the year. But for us, this past weekend, we truly hit record numbers driven mostly from mobile. Well, that's an interesting point. You know, there are deals on the internet all the time. So what, uh, Rob, actually makes this weekend different from any other weekend online? Well, there's a lot of demand, and we're seeing that, as Jeff indicated, through mobile. We're seeing through the whole holiday week about 70% on average traffic via mobile, and then about it spiked on Thanksgiving 54% of orders via mobile. So consumers are reaching their retailers and their favorite brands through mobile and in turn retailers are enticing them earlier and earlier with deals, with discounts, with promotions. The deals, Rob, are so voluminous and so steep that I just wonder, are retailers actually making money over this weekend? Well, that's the intent, and uh, we're seeing it a strong growth, especially. We're seeing strong double-digit growth throughout the uh, holiday weekend, and a lot of that is being, as I mentioned, driven by mobile. And also, uh, retailers are finding that social has become a very, very important attraction vehicle to get to the consumers, particularly on that mobile device. Definitely. Jeff, with all these deals, is this a money-making weekend for you? <laughs> yes, it definitely is. Um, I want to build on what Rob was saying from a social perspective. The question is, how do we get in front of customers in a scalable way? How do you build one-on-one -on -one relationships? And we found social a very powerful vehicle to do this. So from our lens, when we start thinking about how retail is going to evolve over the next several years, we see social being a powerful element, but also video. So from our perspective, for instance, on Thanksgiving, all of the push notifications that we sent to customers, we literally had 300% year over year increase in the clicks and in the engagement from a social mobile type of experience. But Jeff, I have to get some more specifics from you. You know, yeah. walk me through the economics of, of how all of these deals, uh, you know, over so many days actually make sense for a company like Zulily and for the companies that are selling their products on your site. I appreciate it. So I think every retailer has to find their right type of business model to serve their customers. What we're proud of at Zoo Lily is to offer unbeatable prices, truly the best prices out there. As soon as a customer adds a second item to the cart, then all of a sudden we are highly confident. All of our internal studies say that it is incredibly profitable for them. However, Unlike other retailers that are a bit more transactional, that are more focused on two-day shipping, we, on the other hand, have set up a infrastructure network to allow us to serve customers a little bit slower, but with a better value and more unique product. And that trade-off, every customer may not be willing to make, but our customers certainly do, and it's why we're able to do this profitably and sustainably. Rob, what are the hot products and hot retailers standing out this year? Sure, yeah, so we scour the internet via our social platform and we are seeing a lot of chatter about um, consumer electronics as you would expect this time of year, but connected devices are raising up uh, to the top and we're also seeing vintage products as well. We're seeing through separate research that um, consumers are really attracted to brands that have purpose, that are authentic, and vintage or nostalgic products are rarely raising up um, to a real high in terms of attracting consumers and gaining that loyalty. Um, we're also seeing, again, in the consumer electronics space, gaming consoles are really big this year, particularly with millennials. Well, you know, on that note, I'm wondering if some of those brands you're talking about, some of these more authentic brands, mission-driven brands, a lot of these brands actually don't have deals on this weekend. It almost is as if that there's like uh, sort of a pushback to, uh, you know, the, the, this everything is on sale all the time. And, you know, is that an increasing trend that you're seeing? Well, that's part of it. Again, particularly with the younger generation, they're looking for purpose-driven retailers. But we are seeing 
um, the promotions, but what we're seeing is there are less spikes. I was just having an executive dinner with several retailers um, a couple weeks ago talking about the holiday and what they talked about is it's not just about Black Friday, it's not just about Cyber Monday anymore, but it's really a smoothing of demand through the entire week. We're seeing a steady drumbeat of promotions. In fact, over Black Friday, we saw a 20% increase in emails that were sent and 30%, nearly 30% increase of SMS push notifications. So what that's telling us is retailers are recognizing it's not about just hammering consumers on those two days, but creating a relationship with them through the entire holiday and beyond. Now, Jeff, Zulily is a company that went public, uh, got bought, it's been in the midst of a turnaround. How do you turn around an online retailer in the age of Amazon, in the age when some of these more niche, mission-driven brands are winning sort of mindshare? Well, look, I think e each of us have our own type of promises to customers, but for us, it really is about this third way to shop. There once was brick and mortar. Then there was transactional e-commerce, which is where Amazon does really, really well. And they have a great business model there. But for us, what we're trying to do is to offer new curated deals, personalized for each customer, in a fun and engaging way. And then once they add that second item to the cart, they should be confident that they're getting the best deal. So for Zulily right now, we're seeing tremendous success. Year-to-date growth has been incredibly strong. Today, we have one million more active customers shopping in our store than we did a a year ago and so for us it is literally working backwards from what that customer wants and it may be different than other customers who are going to Amazon for a more transactional type of purchase.